What's going on guys? I'm out here today and today we are going to be catching some frogs and cooking them. But anyway, to catch frogs, well, we're going to be frog gigging. And I do already have the head of the gig. And here it is right here. And it's a five prong. And as you can see, it does not have a stick on it. So we got to put a stick on it first. And because, you know, I'm not a very good ninja thrower. Well, maybe I am, guys. I was just like stuck it in the ground right there. But we're still going to put it on a stick because I'm not that skilled. That was complete luck, I promise. Or was it? I think it's about three quarters of an inch to an inch in diameter. So I'm just going to look around here. I'm going to try to find something that's really strong. We want something that's very tall. So I'm just going to look around this, you know, forest and see if I can find some. Guys, you're not going to believe it, but this tree just like grew out of the middle of the ground. Don't forget, guys. I'm just joking. I put it there. But anyway, that's the stick that we're going to use. It's about, I don't know, 9 to 12,000 feet tall. So we're going to cut it about right here because that's where it forks off at. And then we're going to put our spearhead right there. I got this thing like completely, you know, skinned out. And that's about exactly the length I was wanting. It's probably 7 foot. So we're going to go ahead and take this in. And we'll just, you know, see if by chance the spear fits on there. It'll fit. Yeah, it fits. There we go. So now we've just got to like put that little boat in there. So I'm going to go ahead and take my drill and drill a hole right through there. Perfect. Now we just got to put the boat in. Oh wow, this is like really hard to do. There we go. We got it all tightened up and put on the end of this stick. And like I said, it's about seven foot tall. That should be pretty good. Oh yeah, I can feel the frogs dying now. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Anyway, let's get on up to the pond and get to frog hunting. Alright guys, you can't really tell it, but it's actually getting pretty dark. So the next parts of the video are more than likely going to be dark. But I'll have you on the chest mount. I'll show you guys right when I get to the pond. So I'm going to come right up here to this little water hoe. See if I can find some. Oh, I think one just jumped in. Oh, yep, yeah, there's some little baby ones. We don't want them, though. We're after the big boys. Yeah, there's little baby ones, like, everywhere. Maybe they come up here to lay their eggs so they don't get eaten by bass. Oh, there's one. There's a big one. You guys see him? No. Got him. Okay, there we go. All right, yep, that's it. That was the only big one in this pond. It's not even a pond, it's a little water hoe, but still. So we're gonna go ahead and get this guy in a bag, go on that way and get to the pond. I'm like probably 30 or 40 feet from it, but you can hear all those frogs. They're everywhere. So we're gonna get down here to the pond and catch some of these suckers. All right guys, we're down at the pond. You probably can't hear me because the frogs are so loud. But it's dark. And you can see on the camera it's really dark. But we're almost done to the pond. And I can't turn the light on until I actually get ready to gig some. Because it kind of gives them a blinding effect. And that's what we want. There's a big one. Never mind, that's a rock. There's one. There's two, actually. Got one. Let's see if we can get his buddy now. There's one. I think we just did a kebab. We got a kebab, guys. I'm going to get these in the bag, and we'll catch some more. All right, guys, change of plans. One of them got off. Whatever, I was putting them in the bag. He jumped back in. We might be able to find him still because he is stabbed, but I don't know if we'll be able to or not. There's one right there. Got him. There's one right in behind him. It's a ton, 10 times bigger. I just pushed that one in the dirt. We'll see if we can get his big friend and we'll dig him out.
Oh, I think I got him. Got him. Oh, he's a big one. It's like a tricky process getting them into these bags because they're so like, where they're reptiles, they can still breathe and stuff. And see this one, he's still jumping around. And he got away again. I've already got, I think we got a total of four. I've killed like five, but two got off. Oh wow, while well, I was just turned around, one walk come right up to me. I could sit right here all night and get him. Did I get him? I think I got him. Nope, he got off. I stabbed him though, so he's in there somewhere. We may be able to get us a double. got one. Did we get them both? I think we did. No, we didn't. The other one's sitting here somewhere, though. All right, I'm going to go ahead and ease on this way. See if I can get one over here. Then we'll go on to the other side of the pond. There's one right here. He ain't even in the water. Got him. Let's go ahead and get him in the bag. All right, we have a runner. He's like stabbed already, so I gotta get him. There we go. Now maybe he won't go nowhere. I'm gonna look and see if I see some big ones first, and then I'll go after the little ones. Oh, here's a big one, guys. Big one. I don't know if you can see him or not. He's right there at the end of my bulb. I think I got him. Pull him up out? No. Oh, I see him. I got him. He's just like stuck in there. There's one. There's a big one right here. I'm going to go after the big one and then I'll get the little ones. I think he got away. Oh, no, he didn't. There's just another one behind him. There we go, I got two on the same spear. Well, we'll just get his friend over here. He said he chilling, he chilling. But then I say he not. But then I say he got away. There's one. He's trying to hide from me. But I know where he's hiding. Got him. These things are like super easy to find. And this is the first time I've ever been frog eating. Like completely honest, guys. We've got a bag full of them. So yeah, super easy way to get food, I guess. Got him. And his buddy's sitting over there waiting for me to get him too. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get these two in the bag and I think we are done. I just realized a few minutes ago that my camera was kind of pointed weird, but you should have got some of it. So we'll go ahead and we'll get back down here and I'll show you guys how to skin them and we'll cook them in the morning. All right guys, it is the next morning. We got our frogs here and we got us a piece of foil and we are gonna go ahead and process them. And I'm actually really surprised, but some of these are still alive. Like I know that they have nerves and stuff, but like he's completely alive. And I don't know how, because I stabbed him last night, and then he's also been in the refrigerator. But they're still alive, so I mean, I guess the ones that I stabbed last night are definitely going to be okay. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take one that is dead. I'm going to show you guys how to process them. Right, so this guy, he's actually pretty small. But what you're going to want to do is come right up here behind the legs. Just make an incision. And pull the skin. Just like that. And he's like kind of cut, so it's a little harder to do with him. But then that, that's just garbage. We can throw that away. And then you're going to want to come right here with your knife. Cut all the way down to the bottom of the legs. Or you can just take and get a hold of it and pull it off. Like this. They do have very tough skin. So you may have some trouble with that. 
but it's actually pretty easy once you get it started. And then you want to come right down here to the joint, take a knife, and then just cut that off. And then you can come up here, take your knife, clean that up a little bit. And there we go. We got two frog legs, and now and then I'll go ahead and just do the rest. We'll get to cooking. So I'm gonna just go ahead and take these, the good ones and the big ones. I'm gonna wash them off, and we'll put them in this bowl. That bowl. All right, guys. I got them in the bowl, and now I'm actually gonna add some stuff to it to let it marinate in. And that is some hot sauce, some lime juice. All right, and then we're gonna let that set for about an hour or an hour and a half. We'll come back and we'll get to cooking. This has been about an hour and here are the frog legs. Now they should have marinated a lot longer, like maybe six hours, but it's gonna be fine because we're gonna be breading them anyway. So that'll make up for some of the taste. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, I don't know, it's probably about a cup and a half, two cups of flour. And then we got some black pepper, some chili powder, some paprika, some cayenne pepper, we got some garlic salt and some parsley. As you can see, I used a lot of seasonings, but I basically just took every spice in my mammal's cabinet and mixed it up. So I'm gonna mix it with a meat cleaver because I forgot to bring a spoon. But hey, it works, I guess. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the frog legs and I'm gonna drain the marinade off of them. There we go, that's after they're marinated and now we're gonna make an egg wash. Stole me another chicken egg. Now I'm just going to mix this up, and then we'll dip it in the flour. And we'll dip them in the flour, roll them around, get them nice and coated, and then we'll get the fire hot. Alright guys, there we go. The oil is really hot. So we're just going to make sure these legs are coated again. Just get them real nice and coated. There we go, and we're just going to drop them in and let them fry. We'll just let them fry for a few minutes, and then we'll get them out, and we'll be good to eat them. Alright guys. The frog legs are finished. I just got them out of the pot and they've been cooling off for probably five minutes. And well, first impression, they shriveled up a lot. They're like shrunk a lot smaller than they were before. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. But they're, they're a lot smaller. And uh, well, they do look like a tiny chicken leg. I'll say that. And I've heard they taste like chicken. I know they taste like chicken. I've ate them before. But we're going to try these today and see how they are. There we go. There's a the meat. Mm, they're really good. If you guys know where you can get some of these, you should try it. It's like really good. They're easy to get. They're hard to keep in the bag though. Yeah guys, these are really good. They do taste like chicken. You know, like everything apparently does. But they're more tender than I figured they'd be. I figured since they were, you know, frogs, they were going to be like tough. But they're actually extremely tender. But anyway, that's all for today's video. If you liked it, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later.